We start with our game of the week and well with conference play starting up, let's head right into the always tough Centennial League. And apropos that two of the top teams are opening up conference play against one another. Talking about Smoky Hill and Grandview, each of these two teams coming in undefeated in the state of Colorado. It's our Vectra Bank game of the week. We send it out to Marty Cesario. Well, it's the new year. We move into phase two of the basketball season. It's officially now conference play. We've got a couple of great squads out of the powerful Centennial League. Anthony Harden, Smoky Hill Buffaloes, so talented. That core group getting older and better, and that includes Kenny Foster, who's had to endure illness and injury early on in the season, but you can trust the D1 level product is going to fill the stat line with scoring, rebounding, assisting, and stealing. One of his top teammates is the exciting 6'8", John Harge. A lot of skills with this kid, and also a creator of many highlight plays. Michael Rogers has the Grandview Wolves 8-1 right now. Their only loss is in Las Vegas. They're led by the exciting 6'4 forward, Dane Prim, growing in his role. Expect him to be the top scorer. He's got a great distributor in the point guard, 5'8", Devon Walker, a transfer in. Very nice surprise for these Wolves. So here we are at Grandview High School in Southeast Aurora, ready for your Xfinity Sports Report Game of the Week. I'm Marty Cesari here to witness number two Smoky Hill and number six Grandview. To the game in the first quarter would be back and forth and this is John Harge. The leading score for Smoky Hill goes right to work and one free throw would be good and the buffs are on the board. Later in the first, Smokey up by one, but not for long. Wolves get it to Caleb McGill and look at the left hand by the sophomore. Wolves lead 9-8. Two minutes left in the first. A good look from straight away for Kenny Foster. The junior will strip the net and the Buffaloes would lead by two after the first. To the second quarter, more from the Buffs. Off the miss and Smokey gets out in transition. The lead pass to Quinton Rock. He will finish at the rim and the lead is up to four. But Grandview would respond. Tyler Unger spotting up from the deep perimeter. The junior will splash the three from out front. It's a one point game. More from the Wolves. Baseline drive by Dane Prim. Sends it out to Ben Boone, and the senior will slash through the lane. Finishes for the two, and Grandview has the advantage back at 16-15. Next possession, it's the D County transfer, Devon Walker. He will connect for three. Grandview is up by four. Later, it's Walker again, looking for another three. Off the mark this time, but the Wolves get the offensive rebound. Open look for Unger. Another three for the junior, all part of an 11-2 run by the Wolves and they would lead by two at the halftime break as teams head to the locker room. To the third, Grandview would start to control. Devon Walker to Caleb McGill. Count that for two. Later in the quarter with an eight-point lead, Wolves swarming on defense. They force the turnover, get out on the break. Dane Prim finding Tyler Unger. He will step inside the arc and knock down that jumper. Watch out as Grandview has built a 10-point advantage. Buffs in need of a bucket next time down the floor, and they would get one. Kenny Foster spotting up at the corner. Book that. Smokey trailing 43-36. More from Foster. Next trip down, and look at the smooth move. Will Becker hands it to the junior, and the sweet reverse lay-in. Smokey has scored five straight. Final seconds of the third quarter. Lead is six for Grandview. Costly turnover for the Buffaloes. They throw it away. Devon Walker goes the other way, trying to beat the buzzer and just does. Count the basket. Grandview takes a 49-41 lead into the fourth. Final frame. Smokey trying to hang in there. Foster looking for another three ball. Nope. But look at John Harge flying in and getting the strong putback dunk. The Smoky Hill students delirious with hoops joy. Buffs down by just six. But... Smokey could never get over the hump. Grandview just too tough on this night. Their defense was terrific. Another turnover here, and it leads to the fast break. Gunner Gentry leaves it for Dane Prim, and the big man will extend and roll. And Grandview goes on to get the huge conference opening win over Smoky Hill. Let's talk to head coach Michael Rogers. Uh, it was a battle early, and then you were able to get a gap established in the third quarter. How'd you do it? Uh, you know, the kids just settled down, followed the rules, went over the game plan that we put in place. And, uh, you know, we told them just play the way that we're supposed to play. Play the right way and we'll be okay. From the outside, which is where you hang in the yeah. perimeter, what kind of struggle was that to get through and get that win over Smokey? Well, at the beginning, uh, I feel like I got a couple good shots, but towards the end they started getting up on me. 
uh, and that was when I had just had to make things happen in uh, other ways, you know. Beat the number two team according to the rankings. What's that say about your basketball program? Uh, we don't talk much, but we'll show you when we play. It was a seesaw battle until the third quarter, then you established the 10-point lead. How would you do it? Um, just by doing what we do best. Uh, Coach Rogers says discipline, discipline. We play discipline. We knew we were going to come out here and win. That's it. Every year is a new season, right? And we've, we've gone into 2018 in conference play. With a win like that, what are we learning about Grandview's basketball program? Um, well, like Tyler said, we don't talk a lot. We don't care about the rankings. We don't care about nothing. We're going to come out every night and show you what Grandview basketball is about. You know, it's the Centennial League. You can't, you can't enjoy these wins too long. I think I said that before because you got to circle around and play these guys again. So um, everybody's going to get better. And um, we just have to see if we can take another step toward where we want to be. Entertaining game between a couple of heavyweights in the Centennial League. Grandview endured the teeter-totter competition and eventually established a 10-point lead in the third quarter. Went on to win by exactly that amount. Leading score, Dane Prim. He had 15 points in the game. How about Tyler Unger? Splashing some threes from the outside. He had 14. The sophomore, Caleb McGill, with 13. Final score, 65-55. The Grandview Wolves are now 9-1 for the Xfinity Sports Report. Marty Cesario.